January the 6th was an effort to prevent the peaceful transfer of power from one administration to another. I would not be in favor of shortening any of the sentences for any of the people who pleaded guilty to crimes. Recall that McConnell did vote to acquit Trump for inciting the January 6th insurrection during his impeachment trial, but he did say he was practically and morally responsible. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and the wheels of justice turn slowly but grind exceedingly fine. And I want to puke when I think of those apes crawling over our Capitol building and the thought that those behind that treasonous coup could possibly get off scot-free. But it's starting to look like the wheels of justice are going to grind Donald Trump and his lackeys into dust. I think it has to happen if we're ever to heal. Nobody is above the law and it doesn't matter how big your fan base is. If you do the crime, you need to do the time. And it doesn't matter if you committed your crimes in a back alleyway or in the highest office of the land. Nobody is above the law. Now, it's sick watching these Republican politicians bend and sway to push fascism as far as they can possibly take it in order to seize power. At first, 35 Republicans voted for the independent commission to investigate the assault on our Capitol that took place on January the 6th. Then they gave just enough pause so you stop thinking about it. And then they started pulling Republican members from the committee. They want to leave the panel all Democrat and start painting a fantasy of a partisan witch hunt because you know that boneheaded argument gained some traction amongst their lunatic base. If the voices are loud enough, even lunatic voices, maybe they can sway just enough public opinion to start taking power by force again. Folks, they were hoping that they could pull the bait and switch fast enough before any damning evidence was found. And now here's where that crushing will of justice comes in. It's looking like they're a little too late. Trump lost his attempt to hide over 700 White House documents from the public. Steve Bannon has been charged with criminal content and top officials have given testimony to the committee. The more senior level officials testify, the harder it is going to be for the GQP to pull the wool over the eyes of the public with asinine rhetoric. And oh yeah, did I already say how in America nobody is above the law? Well, we're about to test that theory in real time. If it holds, our democracy will remain intact. If it doesn't, then we are on a crash course and the brakes have been cut. Now, on a positive note, it's looking like their house of cards is going to fall. And I'm going to relish seeing justice delivered to these domestic terrorists. And I'm not talking about the apes crawling all over the Capitol. I'm talking about the apes inside the Capitol who wear an R on their nameplates, a smug look on their face, and the public tax dollars and lobbyist cash shoved in their pockets. We will not have this nation taken down by fascists or due to public stupidity. It's time for a win for law and logic, a win for the foundation principles of this nation, that no man is above the law and no man can name himself king just because he is vile enough to try it. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.